In this video, we are going to learn how to use Terraland train processors to generate servers from Volt Machine renders and use generated tiles in server to finally create dynamic trains in runtime using Terraland's streaming system. Head to the Volt Machine demo folder and load up the scene to prepare server files and set up scene parameters. Find the readme file next to the scene file to get the links to download original renders from Volt Machine needed for this tutorial. Terraland contains a component called Terraland Train in order to create trains from existing assets in project or external sources. It can generate tasks from custom data files and create a server to finally connect the server to the streaming system in Terraland. Sometimes the created as plat maps out of external train renderers does not include the alpha channel in them. As we are going to have four textures on our train based on a splat maps RGBA channels, first we need to generate alpha channel from our splat map. Drag and drop the texture in the original splat map field in a splat map alpha generator section and simply press generate alpha channel button. The created splat map with alpha will be imported and placed next to the original splat map in project. You can see the proper alpha has been generated for the new splat map. Now that the splat map is ready, we are going to slice this high resolution image and generate tiles out of it suited for the streaming system. Drag and drop the generated splat map in the original image field in the image slicer section. As we create an alpha channel for our splat map, the PNG format must be selected to maintain the alpha channel in tiles or train a splat in later. Select tiles value which defines the slice grid size and total amount of tiles. Check the option select save folder which tells the generator that we want to save tiles outside the project usable for a streaming server. Press the slice image button and a new window will come up to assign the save folder. Locate the project root and create a folder and name it Vault Machine Test or whatever you want. This will be the main directory for our server. Create another folder inside the created directory and name it imagery. Note that the folder name always has to be the word imagery as shown here so that the streaming system can recognize this folder for its operations. Finally, press select folder and generate the stars to create image tasks in the assigned location. Now that we set up splat maps for our server, it's time to set up the height map tiles. Go to the data splitter and converter section. Select raw format as a supported format in Terraland streaming system. Select the same value as in image slicer section in order to sync with image tiles. Give it a smooth and iteration value if needed and press generate data tiles. A new window will be shown to locate the height map file for slicing. Select the file and press open. Terraland starts to analyze the file in order to load its data into memory. So based on the file size, it may take a bit of time. When the initial loading is finished, a new window will automatically come up to select the save location for height map tiles. Just as the same before in image slicer, look at the main directory of the server which was world machine test folder. Create a folder there and name it elevation. Again, note that the folder name always has to be the world elevation as shown here so that the streaming system can recognize this folder for its operations. Finally, press select folder and generator starts to create height map tiles in the assigned location. Now we are completely done with the server creation and we only need to connect it to the runtime offline script in the scene. There is already a game object with runtime offline script on it in the scene, which we are going to set it up. Find the database path parameter in the script and type the server directory name, in this case world machine test. Make sure the project root path is checked as the server is located in the root folder of the project. The enable splatting option has been already enabled so that the generator knows there are the splat maps in the imagery folder of the server instead of ordinary satellite images or color maps. Also, all four textures needed for train texturing have been assigned. With this setup, the runtime generator streams loaded splat maps in background and applies them to train tiles as splat maps for texturing based on the four instead of the textures. There's a script called extended fly cam on the main camera which handles movements in the scene. You can define the navigation speed in there, but note that the higher speed values will break the streaming system. We are all done now. Simply hit the play button in Unity and see the surrounding trains update around the player as he travels. The same behavior can be applied for any other renderers created in World Machine or any other train generation programs.